Alright, so as a YouTuber, it's very important that I stay alert and pay attention to the world around me so that I can stay in the loop, as my fellow boomers like to say. Whenever a trending topic comes along, I like to think, maybe people want me to talk about it. You know, maybe people like my opinion and they like the way that I look at things and they might trust me to change their mind on a certain topic. But at the same time, I don't really like to do trending topic comms. I don't really like to talk about what every single commentator is already talking about because it would feel like I'm just reiterating everybody's opinion, or at least some people's opinion. Now there's been plenty of chances for me to dip my toes into the wild world of what's trending online, but I think the last time I did it is when YouTube got rid of annotations forever and I even privated that video after a while. I guess you could count the couple of Minecraft videos I made, or the one where I reacted to video games cause violence memes, but I honestly can't really remember the last time that I sat down and really had a long talk about something that was trending. I mean, I've been sitting here making videos about nostalgia, taking yourself too seriously, me being called the GOAT, a train wreck from 20 years ago. Nice recap. Quiet back there! Definitely not videos that are gonna get me on the trending tab. I remember one of the only trending topic videos I ever made where I reviewed the Rice Gum Content Cop and the Rice Gum Content Cop response. And I remember thinking, boy oh boy, was this video pointless. All I did was spew out the exact same Rice Gum's career is over, iDubs reign supreme, don't mess with the content cop that every single other commentator was spewing out. I wasn't really angry for that, I was just kind of bored. And yet sometimes, I just imagine if I had more fans, surely whenever a trending topic comes along and I was like, eh, I don't know, I might want to talk about that, surely they'd egg me on, they'd say stuff like, come on man, we want to hear your thoughts. Hi bros, let's attempt to define selling out. What exactly are people selling when they sell out? They're selling their individuality. Individuality of image, individuality of thought. In return for this individuality, they receive influence, which we've talked about many times before on this channel. No one cares, roast Sony for what they did to Spider-Man! Suppose I went on a rant on Twitter where I ranted about a certain subject that had been irking me recently, a certain trending topic that made a lot of people mad, and then at the end of this Twitter rant where I put up like five tweets complaining about something, I put up a poll on Twitter where I say, should I talk about this in a video? Yes or no? Or say I just outright made a poll without ranting. One of the options was a video talking about Sony. This option was stacked against telling another life story, reacting to a video that no one has heard of, or talking about another topic that's irrelevant by comparison. Well, the Sony option will most likely win every time. At that point, I'd have to sell out and make the video about Sony to please my audience. From then on, there'd only be one way to save myself from being labeled a sellout, and that would be to bring a slightly different perspective than what's being regurgitated by everyone else. This is mostly a struggle I would have with myself. I mean, what could I say that's so different in a story that's supposedly so one-sided? Guys, now, we need to be respectful, you know, people, people need their money. These companies have worked so hard to build up their image, and it comes with a lot of rights, and, you know, they have the rights. No one cares, we watch Spider-Man! Okay, now I'm actually a little mad. But yeah, man, the last thing I want to do is wake up, look at my channel, and realize that I've become a sellout to trending topics. And I feel a lot of people think the same way about their channels, especially when they start out. But somewhere along the line, something changes, and they find a different motivation for making their videos. I mean, just let me tell about my motivation. And then I think you'll understand. Now before I begin, I just want to say, I don't really think like talking about trending topics is necessarily ethically evil or morally wrong. And I'm not talking about people like PewDiePie that don't just jump on a bandwagon and actually talk about all sides to the story. I'm talking about the channels, you guys know the type, the ones that just seem to be like slaves to the latest drama. Kind of like the Cosmic Cast. Squirt, squirt, shots fired from a water pistol. Alright, but listen. If the only reason I did videos was for numbers, more subs, more views, more shares, likes, etc. Of course I would sell out, of course I would change everything about my channel. I mean, I probably wouldn't even do commentaries at that point. I'd probably do makeup challenges or, you know, buck bang. 
Maybe I do daily family vlogs. I've heard interracial couple vlogs are coming into style. If the only reason I did videos was for influence, well of course I'd sell out. I'd quit throwing in those niche references to Phineas and Ferb and airplane types. I'd quit referencing my friends' songs all the time. Of course, everything that would make me me would have to go. That's the price I'd have to pay for that influence. But honestly, I started this whole YouTube thing hoping that I might get some influence hoping that I may get some numbers, but honestly not expecting to, so I just really do it for fun. I don't really sit around and think now is this video going to get me the views that I want? I share my videos of course, but I'm not like, and eh, now am I adding the right hashtags to drive clicks to my website? Now the only reason I'm like this is so that I can find peace with my content. I'm not saying that people who are unlike me are wrong, I'm just saying that's how I think about selling out. With that in mind, Sony was really dumb about this whole thing. I personally think that Sony should be dissolved into Disney. You know, it's just one more franchise. Just one more Infinity Stone on the gauntlet. Just eat him up, Disney. Eat him up. But hey, this whole Sony situation might be bad, but at least we got Kenobi back. Let me end off on a question. When was the last time you saw a new rising commentator that you'd never heard of before? And I mean like a true blue sit down and talk commentator. Not like a react to reddit posts or react to pictures or gameplay funny moment style commentator, but an actual tried and true commentator. When was the last time you saw one of those rise to fame not talking about trending topics? I got an answer for you. 2015. Thank you.